Well, hello everyone and welcome back to THN. Hey, listen, if you haven't checked out the new Hamilton City Magazine, first off, shame on you. And it's not too late to visit this amazing website that has been launched. We got the big guy, the head honcho himself, publisher of Hamilton City Magazine, Jeffrey Martin. Hello and welcome. Good to be here. Good nice, to see you. Nice to see you. Your team is, 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 is going like gangbusters right now. You got so much on the go. The online version. Uh, it, I, I, some unique eyeballs. It was mm -hmm. a success. Yes, yes. Yeah, Beautiful. We, uh, uh, since December, you know, we, we launched the print magazine in, in September and, and the online at the same time. But we've yeah. been over the last three months, we've been focusing on building the online too. I mean, we want people to get out and buy the print magazine, subscribe to it. But our, our online viewers, our unique viewers, have tripled since November. So and listen, this is the world that we are now in. That's right. That's and right. eventually, you know, so with Instagram, are, are you on TikTok? Have you been banned from TikTok? No, we're not on TikTok okay. yet. We're on all the other platforms, <laughs> and we weren't sure where to go there yet. Yeah, know? yeah. So, okay, fair but enough. It's, it's on the planning stage. So. Uh, we'll the the new magazine is about to be launched. Tell yes. us about this exciting edition and, and some of the little nuances to it. I think this issue is going to be. I mean, they're. All, I think they're all great, but this is their food and drink issue. Oh. And you know, Hamilton, Burlington. This is a food district. This is a foodie town, you know, and uh, we thought this would be a good one for us. And so far, the response has been good from the people that we've been involved with. Mm -hmm. uh, our, fe our cover story features seven chefs from uh, six restaurants across the, the city, Super. and that's exciting. We, we just launched a video, too, to promote the new issue. Yeah, um, yeah it, it, food is the focus. We look at some hot sauces, nine different people making hot sauces in the Hamilton Burlington Love area. It. Are you a hot sauce guy yourself? I have big time. I How hot? Uh, Can you go ghost pepper? Hot? No, I'm not that hot, but okay. just underneath it. You okay, know? Fair just enough. underneath it. You know, right. are you when you're at a meal and you're at a <laughs> are you sweating? Yeah, close to it, eh? <laughs> okay. And you finish the meal, go. Okay, am I losing weight just by breathing <laughs> yeah, or something? Exactly. You know, I know so, the feeling. Yeah, but, I love my chicken pad thai, and I put on the extra. And my wife's like, yep. "Why do you do that to yourself?" It all just the time? adds a little bite. To it, exactly. It? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, another good feature: the Heather on Lock Street. Maddie Cowan had the Heather on Barton over COVID. He just reopened on Lock Street, Great and that's an experience. I haven't been there yet, but we're we're setting up. A, a, a date to go out there mm -hmm. and experience dinner with the chef. Oh, it can't get any better, too. And, and when you can have those experiences with the chef and, and the little behind the scenes things and, and, and the reasons why they're adding this or adding that, Absolutely. it just means more yeah, yeah, yeah. to the meal. Well, right? walk away. It's not a food experience, it's, it, it, it's the atmosphere. Of course. And then the conversation with the chef. You're actually sitting there having a meal with the chef. And, so. and if you can pick up a, a couple little tidbits for your own cooking at home, I find I've been able to do that. It helps. It makes a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, another article, it's not about the food itself, but it's uh, Eugene Elman, one of our writers, has done a, a, a big feature on farming in Hamilton Halton. You know, I think that's part of uh, our society that we forget about, the agricultural absolutely, side. Absolutely. Fascinating. What type of farming does he do? Uh, he, he, he does, we've looked at the, 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 the Loweth Farms, which is the big dairy farmer okay. uh, out, out, outside of Hamilton. Yep. We're looking at uh, some of the, the, the fruit and, uh, not fruit and vegetable, but the vegetable farmers too. Right. Hamilton Halton, uh, I think people are going to be sort of wowed when they see the, the extent and, and, and the breadth of farming and, and, and the size of the, the farmland in these two regions. And, and all you have to do in Hamilton is just shoot down 56 and you're into Binbrook area right and there. all that. And the farms and the pumpkins and the turnips, we're getting into that season where it's going to be picking your own fruit and all that. Yeah, and it should be an interesting article considering we see this political backdrop of the, the, green, uh, uh, the green belt you know, Hamilton farmland being sort of pulled away for development, and you know, and that's a controversial issue. But the, the extent and the importance of farming and agriculture to Hamilton and Halton is, is really spectacular. It it's a lot is. bigger than I think most people realize. You, you talk about that green belt and what's going on. When you and your team are looking at how you cover certain issues, that's a big one. A huge. How do you guys go about covering that in regards to the agricultural side, but then you have the people that, you know what, we, we need the housing, okay, the green belt, if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. How do you kind of dissect that? It's tough because, you know, both things are important. We need development, um, particularly in the city, but you know, mm -hmm. what do they call the in development? You know, we have mm -hmm. land already. I think yep. we need to intensify for sure. Of course. You know, I mean, Europeans have been doing it for, you know, hundreds if not They've thousands figured of it years. Out. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we cannot continue to keep suburbanizing uh, our cities. Mm -hmm. It gets more expensive. The further away from a city you go, the more expensive it costs to provide those services. Right. And right now we're in sort of a quagmire of uh, where are cities going with their development. So yeah. it'll be interesting over the next two years. Yeah, it certainly will be. And, and Hamilton City Magazine will be there to cover it. Absolutely. Uh, when does the when does the edition launch? When does it it's go in the mail? It's in the mail. Yeah, it went in the mail. It was at printing last week, and uh, it went in the mail, I believe, Friday. Okay. We're picking up extra copies this afternoon that will go out to all the retailers across Hamilton. You can pick this. It's at chapters 
There's Indigo Coals right. across the GTA, but it's also at Epic Books on Locke and Sherman. Sure. Uh, King West Books, Mixed Media, Dave Kurek's Place, yep. uh, The City and the City Books on Ottawa, the Art Gallery of Hamilton Art Shop, and of course Dr. Disc downtown. Yeah. So those are our main distributors in the city. We're looking for some more and uh, we're touching Burlington this time around too because Burlington's part of our part of our geographical reach too. Yeah and, and you know and you can get out to Grimsby, you can get out to Niagara and again because we are a real hub, we're in that unique situation here as a city where we're surrounded by so many great other cities. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. Like I said, you know, when I, I talked about uh, our online viewers increasing and it's going up, and I think this, I think this magazine, this particular issue, is going to sort of put us over that, you know, yeah, over the number that we're looking at. Too, over so. the top, and, yeah. and then bigger things, and you continue to move forward. Now I know you're you're launching this one, and it's in the mail. Wheels already spinning oh, yeah. for the next yeah. edition. We've already assigned all the May June articles, our editorial lineup. I'm I'm Meredith and I are, are working on the July August, which is our music issue. Great. And I'm excited about that. I mean, food's a biggie for Hamilton, and music's a big thing for Hamilton. Big thing for me too, because I've been part of the music community of on in different ways, and uh, and there's so much to celebrate. So we've got some great features that we're lining up now. Uh, I think that people will be excited because uh, I mean, part of our role is to celebrate. I mean, we're not the news that talks about all the bad things. We're the, we're, the, we're the media that talks about all the good things. And that, you know, that's celebrating all things Hamilton and for the love of Hamilton. That's our, those are our mottos, our ma marketing taglines. And we want to bring some joy to people's lives, you know. Celebrate Hamilton, give yeah. them ideas, plan your weeks, your weekends, and, and, and basically shout it out loud. Absolutely. Uh, as you've been doing. Jeffrey Martin, thank you so much for your time. This oh, is always awesome good. Stuff. Pleasure. I'm, I'm rushing home. I'm getting my, my issue. I know it's going to be delivered in the next day or two. Looking forward to it, pal. That's great. Thanks. You're welcome here anytime, okay?